how to collect emails on Canva website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you an easy way to embed a form onto your Canva website to collect email addresses and also maybe some uh, customer information. The process is very easy. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you're going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over canva.com. Then what are we going to do is to select the website that we want to add the feature of the embedded uh, form to collect the emails and the information too. So what are we going to do is to click on the search bar at the top and type in website. If you have, uh, this is a web based or website just like that. If you have a website already, go ahead and select your own website. If you do not want to have a website and you want to create another website or a new one, go ahead and click on create blank website, or you can choose from the, uh, let's say here, the templates that has been showing right there, the model that you want to work with. So basically I have already a website. I'm going to select it. And then we are going to click on edit. It will open up right there the editor. And uh, we need to make sure that the website is uh, published. As you can see, if this, as you can see here, this bar or this header appear, that means that your website is already online. So I'm going to click on edit. Now, what are we going to do is to create a space for that embedded form that we are going to add. Basically, I'm going to add another page and that page is going to be something like this. I'm going to copy the elements that we have. So I'm going to copy and paste them right there. So this, I think that it is linked. Yes, it is linked already. Now, what are we going to do is to add a text, a heading first. I'm going to put it in here change the color of it to white, make sure that it is white. So we are going to attract the attention in all the red carpet color here. So let's see, we are going to put here, sign up, for example, sign up or subscribe, subscribe for more, let's say for more. So I'm going to put it as like this. So that means that this will contain a form to subscribe. And now what are we going to do is to visit a website called JotForm. So we are going to type in www.jotform.com. Then you are going to uh, create an account within the platform. Obviously it is going to be free until you are going to exceed the uh, free number of creating forms. Now, as you can see here, we have the dashboard. And that dashboard is going to contain our form. So I'm going to click on create form. And then we are going to see here we have the option to create a form from scratch. We have the option to use a template, import a form, or you can go ahead and create a signable document. So I'm going to here use maybe a template. Let's see here. So we are going to search for the template. Here we have registration. So I think that we are going to use registration or sign up, sign up forms. These are going to be these are, so we are going to select sign up forms and you're going to see the different, as you can see the forms, we have some long forms and some short forms. Basically I'm going to use not a long one because it is going to be boring to uh, navigate through. We have some long and short forms. So we are going to choose the most convenient one for us. And I think that we got one. So basically I'm going to use the first one. Click on here, use template, and then we are going to wait for the editor to open up. Now, as you can see, the editor is here. I'm going to click on add the logo. So if you have a logo, go ahead and add it. I'm going to add or select this, for example, as a logo. And then what are we going to do? We can customize the color of this, uh, as you can see, page and also the color form. So we have them, as you can see, like that. 
if you want to put a page image or a picture instead of the color go ahead and click on here upload your image and boom you can also put the font color the input background and etc now for the form as you can see we can go ahead and see the uh here the forms so you can see the properties of each one of the uh things so you can go ahead and see that we have this for example a special uh here uh, as you can see this name for example first name so i'm going to modify here the as you can see the uh, name so it is required so let's see here if we can go ahead and modify this label general below the label for example let's see here what do we have no i do not want to add here so here we have the name as you can see if you are going to put here advanced we have the placeholder or the label here so we are going to type in full name and here as you can see the email which is going to be the email address and here we have it now you can set up these label alignment for example to the left to the right or whatever and then you can go ahead and set up the uh, limit entry for example the cell the free addresses like that and also like this so we are have here you can add a confirmation field just like that and here we have it now what i'm going to do is to set up the uh, get the axis so basically i'm going to modify this uh sign up sign up for example sign up like that i'm going to put this button like this and i am going only to exit that now what i'm going to do is to head over to the settings and see if we want to modify for example or add some conditions the emails is going to be here set up the email so we have job form that will send the first notification to our address and the autoresponder is going to be from job form that means that the confirmation is going to be from job form condition the thank you page as you can see here we have the thank you page workflows and job form signs if you're going to add some signatures mobile notification and boom now let's go ahead and head over the publish click on publish and now what are we going to do is to have a link make sure that if you are going to add here a form you need a link and not an embedded form so we call it an embedded form but we need only a shareable link and that is going to be a smart link these type of links are going to be called smart links if you have the coded or html code it is not going to work on canva so now what are we going to do is to click on the uh, as you can see the page that we want to add that form and normally we are going to click on apps here i'm going to restore the process here you are going to click on apps on canva on the last as you can see uh, element on the search bar we are going to type in embed and we are going to see some apps the first one which is going to have the blue background and the play button we're going to paste the link here click on add to design and watch the magic happen boom this is the form so what are we going to do is to wait for the form to uh, be set up just like that and what are we going to do is to make sure that we are going to stretch it so i'm going to put the position of the text here at first just like that and make the form a little bit bigger so we can basically here make that form uh, for the uh, whole page or we can go ahead and put it as much little as we want so we can go ahead basically and put it just like that or get it like this so what i'm going to do here so i'm not going to make that the biggest page but let's see if we can make this a little bit here just like that or the other color so we are going to add over the first color i'm going to put it like this and click on preview now we are going to see the form and here we have it integrated as you can see so basically you can go ahead and make the page bigger to uh, suffice all the uh, borders or the um, size of the uh, form 
but you're going to make it as you can see fillable and when you finish you're going to click on sign up and then the forms are going to have here the emails sent to your email address so basically you are going to get all the email address to your email that has been set up on the settings here we have the emails so the job form is going to be uh, sent to you and you're going to get everything basically that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one